Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're back with part 2 of our reaction series in World War 1 by Epic History TV. And this is year 1915. So before we start the video, I'm going to uh, start my recording. And it's good, it's still zero though. It's zero. Okay, there we go, the numbers. So now, first of all, before we start, let's go read some comments. And um, yes, we're going to read some comments from the last video that was posted in August 3. And today was August 6. So here we go. This is by Aiki Vetch. Yes, if you are doing a series on World War One, you should definitely do at least one video all the things that happened in Africa. Not sure if there is just one video that explains that, but if someone recommends one, you should check it out. I wish you luck trying to understand World War One. I. I have read quite a bit about it and I barely grasped with that what the heck was going on. Yes, um, it, to be honest with you, it's hard to uh, learn about World War One. I. I actually searched <laughs> The name of the uh, assassin of uh, actually Franz Ferdinand like was what, what was that? It was like around uh, 10, 10 a.m. in the noon. The thing to keep in mind about Princip, yes, there we go, Gavrilo Princip, getting his second chance at Fran Franz Ferdinand is that Princip did not just go somewhere to yeah to, yeah. Um, I kind of made a mistake. I actually uh, uh, heard about the about the uh the what you call that the um thinking about ending his life as uh, from this uh youtuber I, for, I forgot who that was um someone to about his missing chance he went to a place that was next to one of the few bridges over the river with a specific thought that he might get another chance to kill Franz Ferdinand the the rest is pretty much as you described it the car w made a wrong turn on the way to the hospital to visit the wounded yeah i was right uh they uh for actually friend Ferdinand wants to visit the a hospital to visit the wounded because of the bomb in the first attempt and where the driver realized his error minor correction the japan minor correction japan the city taking manchuria in 1921 did not really have anything to do with japan's actions in world war one so yeah i learned i learned about that in the um, in the, uh, our our reaction series in uh, the pacific war by kings and generals you should probably check that playlist out and i don't know why i mentioned mentioned like like invade um invasion of uh, manchuria for some reason that, because i drank too much coke coca-cola yesterday so that's why my English grammar isn't really the best in that video and it went back farther than that the Japanese interest in Manchuria was rooted in the conflict of the Russo-Japanese war and the China, China Far Easy Railway so yeah so this is a William Branch in WW1 legend during the British race for the coast the German army was halted temporarily by the Angel of Mons part of how Christianity played a part in contemporary contemporary understanding jk rowling's french grand great grandfather was a war hero in 1914 winning the cruise de Guav okay i can't understand that the, i mean i can't say that um the early early but the earlier 2009 report was a different man so this i couldn't really pronounce it for some reason the british seized basra three times in 1914 1941 2003 i might try uh searching that up in google later and yeah um the average cube what a nice guy can I ask you where you're from i'm from the philippines i actually replied to him i'm from the philippines and superior fafner this is just my classmate so we're go we're here and uh actually this is the old parts um, World War One, all parts. The reason I uh, like 2021 were edited because um, the 1915 episode was actually age restricted, and thank goodness this um, all parts 2021 re edit um, what uh, didn't got age restricted. So yeah, by YouTube. So guys, like and subscribe. Check out Epic History TV. I'm sorry for the. Uh, for the wait and i could i should probably just put like a timestamp like where the reaction started so stop for my volume okay
January 1915. World War I is just five months old. Oh yeah, I just realized, yeah, World War I is just five, year, five, months, five months old. Wow, and the casualties is massive, my god. And already, around one million soldiers have fallen. Imagine A that. war that began in the Balkans has engulfed much of the world. The central powers, Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the oh, Ottoman Empire, that. fight the Allies. Britain, France, Russia, Serbia and Montenegro, Belgium and Japan. Okay, let's talk about this. For some reason, the Entente, like main colors are red, white, blue. Like, like um, the uh, United Kingdom, red, white, blue. Um, France, uh, blue, white, red. Russia, white, blue, red. Um, Serbia, like red, blue, white. That's, that's weird. What the? That's, that's cool actually. Um, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, the video that I found that, that talks about World War I in Africa is actually made by Armchair Historian. In Poland and the Baltic, the Russian army has suffered a string of massive defeats, but continues to battle German and Austro-Hungarian forces. Austro-Hungarian troops have also suffered huge losses, and are humiliated by their failure to defeat Serbia. In the Caucasus Mountains, Russian and Ottoman forces fight each other in freezing winter conditions. My God. While on the Western Front, French, British and Belgian troops are dug in facing the Germans, in trenches stretching from the English Channel to Switzerland. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Earlier, okay, so, so I mentioned that the Entente is full of red, um, blue, white, red. Um, Japan has red and white, but for um, Belgium has like black, yellow, and red. I don't know what what's the color of the flag of Belgium at this time period. I hope this is the the flag of um, Belgium, and but yeah, they don't have like the white and blue but they have red though anyway i'm sorry total war as part of the world's first strategic bombing campaign germany sends two giant airships known as zeppelins Zepp to bomb britain they hit the ports of king's lynn and great yarmouth damaging houses and killing four civilians God. At sea, at the Battle of Dogger Bank, the British Navy sinks one German cruiser, but the rest of the German squadron escapes. Command of the seas has allowed Britain to impose a naval blockade of Germany, preventing vital supplies, including food, from reaching the country by sea. By putting, by putting Germany into a submission, um, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's the reason of the, uh, the blockade. Germany now retaliates with its own blockade. Yep. It declares the waters around the British Isles to be a war zone, where its U-boats will attack Allied merchant ships without warning. Brit there was an accident. Um, I, w I hope he mentions this. Um, there was an accident, a uh, German... I forgot a German U boat uh, launched like a torpedo towards a uh, American civilian ship where it sank, killing American civilians inside. And yeah, I hope he mentions that because um, I heard about that. I hope it's true. Please tell me. It relies on imported food to feed its population. Germany plans to starve her into surrender. By submitting them to him. On the Eastern Front, German Field Marshal von Hindenburg launches a winter offensive and inflicts another massive defeat on the Russian army at the Second Battle of Masurian Lakes. Okay, first of all, guys, um, I'm not going to end 
my learnings about World War II, I just wanted to learn about World War I. And to be honest with you, I'm actually intrigued on learning about World War I because I don't know, I just wanted to. And um, actually, I'm actually uh, going to learn all of the battles that happened in World War I. All of it, even though there's many. I just want to learn about it so yeah thank you for understanding um that's i got interested in world war one for some reason like a month ago so that's why i'm reacting to some world war one videos thank you the russians lose up to 200,000 men my god half of them surrendering amid freezing winter conditions my god the Russians have more success against Austria-Hungary. The city of Shamishul falls after a four-month siege, netting the Russians 100,000 prisoners. Austria-Hungary's total losses now reach 2 million. Wow, that's a lot. What? Okay, what? That's a lot. Okay, first of all, we, we can see that Austro-Hungary in early, early in the war that it's very unstable and it couldn't it couldn't be a good ally with Germany. I'm not okay. For, first of all, it's very unstable because of the ethnicities and um, uh, there's different cultures there and stuff. And um, it's pretty obvious because f for for being. Uh, for being a uh, almost a I don't know is it an M Austro Hungarian Empire? Yeah, Austro Hungarian Empire couldn't even be like a small s small country like Serbia, and yeah, they they're getting humiliated around about around like 1915 because um they're they they're not like very successful in the in Serbian front anyway, and even in the in the uh, Eastern Front right eastern front my god yeah eastern front the west western front eastern yeah yeah yeah. i'm sorry like it's like what time is it oh it's around seven okay meanwhile the british and french send warships to the dardanelles to okay. threaten constantinople capital oh. of the turkish ottoman empire yeah they believe a show of force will quickly cause Turkey to surrender. They bombard Turkish shore forts in the narrow straits. But three battleships are sunk by mines and three more damaged. The attack is called off. Actually, the person that commands that, that I remember uh, so something about. I forgot what, what it's called, but Winston Churchill, before becoming like the Prime Minister of um, uh, Brit uh, Britain, was was actually commanding like the ships in in that part of uh, the, of World War One, like uh, in Constantinople. I forgot what you call that. Like, is it, was it a siege? I'm sorry. I'm just going to wait for it. I hope he mentions that. Because and yeah, comment down below. Um, I if is it true that uh, Winston Churchill actually commanded commanded in the um, in World War One? I. I don't I don't know what you call that. Commanded. I don't know. Just comment down below, please help me. Anyway, trench deadlock. On the Western Front, the oh, British okay. attack at Neuve Chapelle. But the advance is soon halted by German barbed wire and machine guns. British and Indian units suffer 11,000 casualties, about a quarter of the attacking force. My God. Six weeks later, at the Second Battle of Ypres, the Germans attack with poison gas for the first time on the Western Front. Ah, yes, the gas. A cloud of lethal chlorine forces Allied troops to abandon their trenches. But the Germans don't have enough reserves ready to exploit the advantage. Yep, that's that's a that's a mistake. I, I was actually um, watching 
um, the Great War channel. Uh, channel. Um, yeah, the Great War. If you don't know um, what the Great War is, just search it on YouTube. They made like one of the best World War One videos. Um, that's like they made like the series like mistakes that happened in World War One, and that's that's a, that's one one mistake that happened. They don't have any reserves, and um, and like the British and the French have like um actually reserve like if the if their soldiers like the soldiers is uh, fighting and if they see like the soldiers that is fighting in the trench is like tired they replace them with new soldiers that are the fre yeah the fresh the fresh ones but for the germans they don't do that they just kept on putting their soldiers there and not like doing like a cycle thing i mentioned that like three months ago in, in a video. Soldiers on both sides yeah, are quickly supplied with crude gas masks as a chemical weapons arms race begins. Actually, I heard about a story where um, I, I I hope it's true, but uh, is it World War One or World War Two? Um, uh, what was that again? Mm. Disney like Disney actually made masks for kids like masks that that looks like Mickey you know Mickey Mickey gas masks because of you know just protection of the gases I hope that was in World War one or maybe it's World War two I'm gonna search that later the Allies land ground troops at Gallipoli, ah, including men of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, the Anzacs. the Anzacs. Their goal is to take out the shore forts that are preventing Allied warships reaching Constantinople. The the but they immediately the meet fierce Turkish resistance and are pinned down close to the shore. That was actually a um, an unsuccessful. Uh, landing and what happened was I hope this this was it like the Gallipoli landings um, Winston Churchill uh, actually told them to escape slowly just because um they did it like around nighttime so that um, so that um, the, the Turkish couldn't see them because um, because of the unsus because they're unsuccessful because if um if the turkish saw them like escaping they would probably try encircling them trying to um capture them so yeah i hope that that was it like the Gallipoli landings the anzacs with the uh, australian forces i heard about those the day before the landings the ottoman empire the begins the systematic deportation and murder of ethnic armenians living within its borders First of all, I heard about this, and um, I heard about like everything. I'm not going to mention it, guys. I know there's like um, there's like been tensions like around Turkey and Armenia about this, and please, I don't want to have that down below in the comments. Just let's just be silent. Let's let's just talk about it, and I'm not. I don't want to mention it again. Okay. The Armenians are a long persecuted ethnic and religious minority suspected of supporting Turkey's enemies. Tens of thousands of men, women and children are transported to the Syrian desert and left to die. In all, more than a million Armenians perish. Okay, I'm sorry for pausing. Um, please, guys, please don't. Please don't start like a huge debate. I'm not saying that it happened and I'm not saying that not happened. I just don't want to talk about it because I know this is a pretty sensitive topic because there's two countries like right now is is having like tensions if this thing truly happened and this one country says that this happened and this the other country saying that did not happen and the lies just came out anyway 
The Allies condemn the events as a crime against humanity and civilization, and promise to hold the perpetrators criminally responsible. To this day, the Turkish government disputes the death toll, and that these events constituted a genocide. German advance in the east. On the Eastern Front, a joint German-Austro-Hungarian offensive in Galicia breaks through Russian defences, recapturing Chemischul and taking 100,000 prisoners. It is the beginning of a steady advance against Russian forces. At sea, the British... Oh yeah, don't forget that Russia, at this time period, is it's not stable. It's pretty unstable because there's a re there's a revolution that is happening in inside Russia's uh, Russia's border because of you know Tsar Nicholas II and um, yeah just he made a lot of mistakes and yeah it's pretty unstable. British passenger liner Lusitania sailing from New York to Liverpool. Now this was the one that I heard about, like the Lusitania, um, the uh, sinking of Lusitania. ...is torpedoed by a German U-boat off the coast of Ireland without warning. 1,198 passengers and crew perish, including 128 Americans. Oh. U.S. President Woodrow Wilson and the American public are outraged. But Germany insists the liner was a fair target, as the British used her to carry military supplies. In May, the Allies launched the Second Battle of Artois, in another effort to break through the German lines. The French make the main attack at Vimy Ridge, while the British launch supporting attacks at Aubert Ridge, and Festuber. The Allies sustain 130,000 casualties. Oh my god, that, that's a wasteland, like a deserted wasteland because of the shelling that happened. Like, wow. Oh my god, looking at that photo, it's, it's like, it's so weird because, um, this this has been like a long time ago and um wow look at the destruction the trees got was uh was like almost burnt and um, mud everywhere and the worst thing about that um in the trench there was a there was sometimes bad weather that was talked about my god in advance just a few thousand yards oh my god few thousand yards. That summer, above the Western Front, the Fokker oh. Eindecker helps Germany win control of the air. Germany it has, has like, um, air superiority. Okay. It's one of the first aircraft with a machine gun. Okay, let's stop there, because, um, you, do you remember, like, the, uh, the internet clothing? Hold on, what? I'm sorry guys, uh, got to uh, do this. Hold on everybody. Hey, uh, the, for some reason the internet didn't like came back and um, I just ended my video. We're around like 19, 19 minutes and 19 seconds. And uh, um, for some reason, the, the my video just cut off, and uh, yeah, uh, that might actually be the end. That's uh, video for you guys, yay! So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, everybody. Um, I'm very very sorry. Like the the reaction part is just too short. Um, I might probably just I don't know continue our our reaction series in like here maybe in the whole world war one all parts 2021 red re-edit because um it might took me a while if i kept on reacting to these the shorter videos i should probably just stay here so yeah guys next video my should we're going to uh continue the next video in 19 minutes and 19 seconds thank you for watching goodbye